Okay, I will show you how to find a job in China easily. These web, well, these two websites I do recommend highly. The first one is eChinaCities. Yeah, so eChinaCities.com, you go to jobs and then you just open an account and fill out the questions, all the information they ask you, upload your resume and you should be good to go. Uh, just a quick reminder, you do need your WeChat account, so make sure you got, you got a WeChat account because that's a must here in China. And yeah, you just go to different cities, you know, you want to go to Beijing, you want to go to Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Hangzhou, Suzhou. I am currently here in Wuxi, and I found my job here on eChina Cities. I came to this website and I found my job and I am very satisfied with my job. I do like it very much. So I do know for a fact that many of these companies are legit. They are not random recru recruiters posting exaggerated uh, job offers. So yep, you, sh you can trust these. Uh, all right, this is not English. Well, you can find different jobs here. Not only teaching jobs, you can find, you see, freelance translators. Well, that's, well, it's not a teaching job. Equipment engineer. And then you can type here whatever you're looking for. <clears throat> I teach math, high school math. So I was just typing mathematics. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> There's nothing now? Wow. Okay. For now, there is no mathematics jobs in UC. Let's see, English teacher. If you don't mind teaching little kids, you can find a job easily. There are many uh, training centers looking for teachers. I know a guy in Guan, Guangdong, specifically in Dong, Dongguan. Is it Dongguan? Yeah, Dongguan. And he, he's got a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is China Brand Teacher. China Teacher. I'm sorry, China Teacher Brand. <laughs> My bad. And he is the owner of Easy Kids. is a training center in Dongguan. Or Dongguan. I forgot how to pronounce it. Dongguan in Guangdong. Very close to Shenzhen. And I know he's looking for teachers. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind teaching little kids, you can find a job easy, easily. And you can find you can find his YouTube channel, China Teacher Brand, and you can talk to him. You can be like, "Yo, I'm looking for a job." Uh, you gotta be legal though. I think you gotta have all your papers, like your bachelor's degree, your uh, criminal background check, you know, all of that. Otherwise, he won't be able to hire you. So I do recommend him. Um, anyway, and also these two websites, you know. Yeah, you can find jobs here easily, effortlessly, yeah, it's just pretty easy. And also there's a myth, you know, people think that if you're not in China, you're not going to be able to land a decent job. Does baloney, homie. I know my company right now hire like four teacher teachers and they're not here in China. And I know for a fact they are getting good jobs because my company is not the best. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's pretty good. And they're not in China. So, you know, people were telling me before I came to China, you got to be in China to be able to get a, de a very good job. You got to accept your first job. Yeah, accept the fact that it was going to be a crappy job. It, it doesn't have to be like that. All right, let's see Beijing. Mm. Yeah, my first job was not a crappy job, but it wasn't in a place where I wanted to stay. It was in the north in a small city. That's why I moved, but I I really I liked the job. I liked the I was getting paid well and the the, the working conditions were good. Now Beijing Beijing is good, but it's housing is expensive. You know, Shanghai Beijing housing is expensive. I don't know about Guangzhou. I haven't been to I haven't been to Guangzhou, and I don't know anyone from Guangzhou. But I think it should be the same. Um. I think you want to go to a smaller city, like a tier 2 or tier 3 city, if you want to save money. 
if you want to have fun and just you know if you don't care about saving money you can go to these b big cities lots of girls lots of things to do but it's expensive uh, all right so this website I do recommend it highly recommend it get the WeChat account link it to this website upload your upload your documents your resume and start applying for jobs the other website this one teaching nomad and they also offer this document authentication service which is really really good if you're in China and you need to get a criminal background check I recommend you use them I did it myself a little expensive I paid three hundred dollars three hundred US dollars but I didn't have to mail fingerprints and I didn't have to go to back go back to the states so pretty convenient pretty easy I stay here in China and they certified it notarized it authenticated it they did all of that for me so I do recommend teaching nomad uh, document authentication service their service is good yeah you can authenticate uh, your diploma your criminal criminal background check many different things <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so you go here. It is expensive. I think it is expensive, but uh, I think it'll be more expensive if you have to go back to the States. <laughs> so it's convenient. Yeah, you just go here. Uh -huh. And they have two offices, one in Denver and one in Shanghai, so you can contact them and talk to them directly. And they are very professional. They're not paying me for this. They don't even know I'm doing this. But uh, I'm a happy customer, so yeah okay and now what else was I gonna show you yeah oh here we're looking for the jobs on this website you go to China and then same deal just op register open the account and then they will interview you they will approve your profile and then you can you can start applying for jobs <clears throat> and that's it pretty pretty easy right I like this website because it's got all the uh, details nicely listed and outlined so it usually answers most questions right mm. all right and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you so you need a WeChat account of course this is where you're going to interact with recruiters. This is where you're going to interview. This is where you're going to, you know, mad people are going to add you when you add, add your WeChat when you come to China. They're going to say, oh, take away Sinma, you know, boys, girls, old people. They may want you to teach English. Uh, they may want you to teach their kids English or they may have a job for you, you know, things like that. So you're going to meet people, they're going to say, let me scan your WeChat. Can I show you? <clears throat> Can you, where's my QR code? Uh, there is a QR code that you can scan and add people. I don't know how to, <clears throat> maybe here. I don't know. Um, what the I? Uh, there? What is this, phone? <laughs> okay, so yeah, here. I have deleted a lot, a lot of the recruiters because I have a job now, but they post jobs daily, if not hourly. <laughs> Let's see, this is, these are a few recruiters that I still have. Yeah. So you do everything on WeChat, you know, they send you the contracts, they send you pictures, you talk to them, it's just... This is one of the uh, contracts, the offer letter, okay, offer letter, but I, I can't show it, it, does, it doesn't want to download, it, it expired. <clears throat> um, this one was a pretty good one, they were offering me a pretty good salary, but I didn't like the, lo like the location, so I ended up coming to what we see. Um, what else? Yeah, so you, you got to get your, your WeChat account, and then here you can add people recruiters uh, schools 
schools principals, schools vice, vice principals, human resources people, you you go here and you do a video chat and then you can have an interview with them. You can also add your students and you can interact with them. It's okay, you know, you can just set your privacy settings so they don't see your uh, posts. You know, you don't want your students seeing your pictures at the bar or something like that. I don't drink, so, but I do set my stuff private. Um, yeah. So, um, very easy, right?